Hello and welcome to Midnight Readings. Today we'll be reading Gotta Catch Em All, written by Strawberry Parfait. Hope you enjoy! Honestly, Rarity, we've been going around this dang mountain in circles. The Earth Pony sniffed unhappily from under her hat, sweat dripping from her eyebrows. She could deal with the heat. It was no worse than when the drought struck during the Great Pegasi Strike, but not the humidity. Not for the first time, she wondered how the local ponies were able to do any work in this kind of weather. Nonsense, darling, the unicorn replied. I can sense we've almost found it. In fact, she sniffed, I can already smell it. What do your notes say? AJ pulled her notepad from the satchel. The same thing they've been saying since lunch. It's bound to be somewhere around here. Maybe we should try that path. They hopped over a small brambling brook and followed a sandy path trodden with lumber ponies and mushroom gatherers. Fresh timber lay in stacks on the sides, ready for pickup. The smell of wet cider wood filled their nostrils. Do we really have to find it? AJ protested again. I mean, we found every one from the list. I'm sure it won't matter if you can't get the last one. We're still the best in Equestria. Applejack! Rarity halted so suddenly, her wide-brimmed purple and straw hat dropped onto her horn. She buzzed it back on her head. I'm shocked! You know very well it's all or nothing! We can't just be the best, we have to be the very best! Otherwise, what is the point of coming all the way to Napon? I was hoping to learn some new wet rice farming techniques, AJ mumbled. But here I am, stuck with you on this wild goose chase. Rarity eyed her from under a raised eyebrow. The heat is getting to you, dear. Why would anyone want to run after wildfowl when we have this to fill out? She tapped the list with her hoof. All items but one were ticked off. Each box marked with a red stamp. AJ sighed and rolled her eyes. Never mind, Rarity. Just hurry up. I may still catch the end of the lecture on flood prevention. Don't worry, we'll be back in plenty of time. If we go back. This place has given me the creeps. It's worse than ever free. I swear, I've seen this tree before. I thought you liked nature, said Rarity, watching her friend make a wide turn around the trunk of an impressive cider tree. I like it all right. But I have heard too many stories of spirits and ghosts lurking in this forest, back in the inn. Oh yes, Rarity remembered. Twilight did mention the napon ponies believe there's a spirit in every tree, and even the rocks. I wonder what they meant by that. If we stay here long enough, I'm sure we'll find out. AJ looked at the sky, glimpsing through the thick canopy. It's gonna get dark soon, and I don't want to stay here after dark. They reached a fork in the path. Rarity stopped and spread the map on the ground. She consulted their notes and the daring do adventure compass she'd borrowed from Dash. Yes, yes, yes! Her horn lit up with a purple glow, as did her eyes. There! She pointed. Are you sure? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Let's go! They launched into a canter, leaping over the ferns, brambles and windfalls. AJ felt her weariness give way to excitement. She too now sensed they were close to their target. Their final prize. Their ultimate reward. Back in Equestria, they had found all that there was to find. All the sizes, all the types on the list, large and small, mountain, forest and volcanic. Nobody had found more than they have, but they both knew there was more to discover beyond Equestria's borders, and nowhere more so than in Napon. They'd spent months preparing for this trip, 
Researching, collecting information, studying maps, saving bits for the airship tickets. The agricultural conference in Bopolna was just an excuse for AJ to leave the farm. The completion of the list was the real reason for the long journey. It was Rarity's idea, of course. She was the only one in Bonneville to have ever visited this distant land on one of her inspiration travels. But this time, it wasn't fashion tips in the Haiju district they were searching for. It was something much more important, and at last, it was in their grasp. Rarity ran for it, the list hovering in the purple glow beside her, ready for that final stamp. But AJ was the first to glimpse their prize between the pillars of the cider trees. To your rat! She shouted. They turned and jumped out into a small open glade. They stared at it in silence. Rarity's eyes glinted as if they were studded with jewels for the first time since AJ had known her. She was rendered speechless. Applejack felt her tears mix with sweat on her cheeks. It's magnificent, she whispered in awe. It was all worth it. In the middle of the glade stood an entrance, split in two, each door covered with a curtain, red for mares and blue for stallions. A stamp and ink pad lay on a tray stump next to the door. Beyond, it was a round pond lined with smooth stones, steam rising in white thick pillows from the milky surface. There it is, said Rarity at last, the most secret most elusive forest spa in all of Napon. And with a triumphant smile, she stamped and ticked off the last box on the list. <laughs> when I first read the title, I thought this had to do with Pokemon. But no, not in the very least. I can imagine Rarity definitely going for some far off spa. And AJ, I think, would join her, just for the adventure. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay brony!